Shumai everyone, how are you all? Um, I'm a little bit behind again with my videos. Went back to school last week and really hit the ground running, so didn't have time to do a Friday one. And also, I think due to so many people doing their pre-orders for Stampin' Up, my new Stampin' Up stuff hasn't arrived for me to share with you. So, hopefully this week. So tonight I'm using um, one of my favourite stamp sets actually, which is... I say that about every stamp set I know. This one is carried over to the next catalogue and it's high tide. There we go. I love um, the little images on this one. And I'm also using a really old stamp set here because I, I just love the font on it and I'm using the happy birthday. And this is the card I'm doing. It's all one layer. So nice and cheap to post. But I just love the effect of the sunset and and things like that. So, because obviously on a Tuesday, it's a 10 minute Tuesday, I've done a little bit of preparation. Fingers crossed I don't run over, which we know is a big lie because I always do. And what I've also done to help myself out is, as you can see, I've got quite a few colours on the go here. And I've put the stamp that I'm using on each colour or if I'm doing sponging I put the sponge on the top just to remind me because there are a few steps to doing this card I've already mounted it onto the Bermuda Bay which could be a bit of a disaster if I mess it up so fingers crossed so first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stamp the sun and I'm going to stamp it slightly lower in the sky this time so I'm thinking, I'm sort of imagining about halfway down. Oh, the other thing I've done is I've created a bit of an aperture and um, using one of my circle dies, which gives me that effect there as if it's an extra layer. There we go. So then I'm going to change the sponge. Um, I often use this, this for small finger daubers, but because I'm doing quite a bit of inking, I've gone for one of the, the wooden handled ones. And I'm going to use a little bit of Flirty Flamingo to give a little bit of pinkness about around the sun. I always just blend off a little bit first and just start in gently then. And I'm going in a circular motion around the sun. Like that, nothing too dark, but, and it might be hard to pick up at the moment, but when you see a sunset, there's often a little bit of a pinkish hue about it. I'm then going to add, I'm using crushed curry here, and I'm going to sponge a layer then for the sky. But then I'm going to be adding pool party on top of it. I think if I tried to do it the other way around, um, the pool party would overpower the crushed curry. Okay. So as you can see, I'm just stamping off onto my grid paper before I add fresh ink back on, because otherwise you might um, you might see like the circle of the the foam. So I'm just close that one for now, and then. Pool party is actually the basis for my C as well. Oh, I was going to do a bit of blending without the foam on it. My pool party needs re-inking. So I'm just stamping off again and starting in gently and keep the sponge moving. And then I'll add... A bit of darker colour then using Bermuda Bay. I'm really excited about the new Come Sail With Me um, bundle. It's coming out of the new catalogue. My husband and I cruise for our holidays because my husband isn't keen on flying. And that's actually a really good excuse because actually as well I really love cruising. And so I can't wait for that one to come out. So I'm just going to go now up over the sky. As you can see, I'm using the circle that I don't need because earlier on I got it on my hands and then ended up getting it on my white card. 
So if you are doing any blending, I would advise you protect your fingers. I'm going to move that up there as well because I want to. I don't want to get it off onto my background piece. There we go. I wanted it to be quite delicate rather than don't want it too much in your face. So my Bermuda bear, I'm going to bring that one in now. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, ink up. I'm just going to stamp off. This is the water. There we are. There we go. Ah, and I'm going to add just another little layer of colour now this is quite a bit darker so I'm going to be gentle now I'm just blending the colours together there there we go what I'm going to do then is gently, as you can see, I'm, I'm holding down my mask using little bits of washi, which I actually pressed against my finger a few times just to take a little bit of the stickiness off. Because even though it's very good, you can sometimes um, slightly damage the paper. So there we go. There is my sunset picture. Then I'm going to stamp the wading birds down the bottom. And I'm using early espresso. Actually, there's a bit of there we are. So I'm just gonna put these down here so they come in, as if they're coming into the scene. And then I've got a bit of mossy meadow. Just to do some a bit of some reeds on the other side. I'm just stamping it off because sometimes mossy meadow is a little bit intense. There we go. And that's all that's left to do now is to stamp the birds. So I'm using Smoky Slate for this. And again, this is another one I think that needs to be inked. Just make sure I'm not stamping them upside down. And they're just going to be flying across the scene. Like that. And I stamp the sentiment in Bermuda Bay. Just bring that in now. I'm going to use a bit of double-sided tape. I'm going to stick that part down. So there it is. So you could add um, a little bit of Winker Stella then, just to give it a little bit of a shine. And it just reminded me of holidays, these colours together. There we go. And my sentiment and that card is then done. So for once, I think I actually stayed within the time limit I set aside. I'm actually under 10 minutes. Boom. So there it is. There's the card there. As I say, we did use a bit of a selection of colours. I used early espresso for the birds, um, for the wading birds, and then smoky slate for the flying birds. Use Bermuda Bay for the water and a bit of the sky, pool party, crushed curry, flirty flamingo and mossy meadow. And I used High Tide. It's a lovely stamp set because, it's, it's, as you can see, it's got a lot of stamps in it. And I used, as I say, a very old sentiment stamp set, which is Sa Sassy Salutations. I like this one because I just like the font. I think it's quite, 
is a font that's not too girly. And there we go. So thank you so much for joining Nikki at Nikki Nags Paper Crafts. Hopefully now I'll get back into the routine. They say school has been a little bit manic, but it'll settle back down again soon. Hopefully my pre-order will arrive tomorrow and then I can do a video to show you what I got, what I ordered in my Friday video. So thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your week. Hoil vow and take care. Bye.